Hello. Today I will show you how to roll a shoe to a nice mirror finish. This will be the shoe that I will be using. As you can see, it has a certain degree of shininess to it already. But there are marks where the polish has started to come away. There is a way to try to fill in these gaps and make it nice and smooth. Or you can use this technique to start from fresh to make a shoe nice and shiny. The first thing you will need, of course, is polish. I recommend ordinary polish and not parade gloss polish. This helps to build layers a lot easier. You'll also need some form of cloth. You can use a regular duster, but this is mine. It is specially made for this task. As you can see, it has seen a lot of use. You also need some water. Some people use to spit. I prefer to use the water. If you use spit, who knows what is in your your mouth? Have you been drinking tea or orange juice? Lots of acidity in your mouth that you do not want on the polish. As you can see, I seem to be running out of polish. Perhaps I should get some more soon. So to start with, we just need two fingers and plenty of polish. And just rub on. Work it in like this until it starts to dry. You'll notice as it will feel dry to touch as you rub it in to the leather. Okay, then get some more polish, and now we go this way. to get in to the gaps here and on the toe. Try and work it in as best you can. This is not part of the bowling itself. This does not create the shine. This is what we do to help build layers. Some people use heat to get it to stay into the leather. But if you do not have access to the, a heat gun, or you don't want to risk damaging the leather this is your best way. As you can see this is really drying on now getting tough to, to rub into the leather so we do it again, we get some more and then we go back this way again all the time we are building layers of polish Now we have a layer of, of damp polish. Grab the water in. Like so. My advice is to continue to do this. If you're starting from scratch, you must do a lot of layers. Put on several. This is a process that will take several days. 
put one layer on here for this video. This is the way I do this. There are others, techniques that other people have used. But I like to cross the layers like this. Maybe do five one night. Do not take the polish off, leave it on and leave it overnight. Okay, so as you can see, unfortunately the scuff marks have not come out with all the layers. And as I do not have time to continue putting on layers to finish this video, we shall have to continue with the process anyway. So for this stage, we rub the whole shoe over with the water, nice and wet. Then we get some more polish, nice big circles. The little circles will come later, but for now the big circles. Try to use the pad of your finger instead of the fingertip. And you'll start to feel the polish firm up yet again. And it takes on a shine this time, as you can see. You'll have to excuse the scuffs. going. If we need to, breathe on the shoe. Just enough condensation from your breath. And we have a nice shine starting to appear. Again, don't be afraid to do this more than once. Another layer if you wish. At this point it starts to feel very smooth to the touch. <sighs> but, as shiny as it is, you can see that it is not perfect. The scratches in the polish. You can see where the circles that you are doing are being left behind. But that is where we go into stage three. But now, as you can see, the difference between the two here and here, this is so far what we have achieved. It's starting to look very nice. Again, if this was a new shoe, without these scarf marks, and these pock marks in here, this would be looking very, very nice. So we move on to the next stage. And so now for the last part. Some more water. And an incredibly small amount of polish. And it has to be on the pad of the finger, not on the tip. And now we work in very small circles. And this is where it will hurt your fingers. Because this is a very long and arduous task. As you must rub in, it's very hard, you must press down very hard here. Very small circles. Until you feel your finger gliding over the leather. It should make almost no sound. And this should work out all of the scratches and imperfections in the layers of polish that you have now worked towards.
This is where you require a lot of patience, as you can imagine. Now if you follow that process for the rest of the cap, you should find a nice shine like this coming apart. Now you will notice that the scarf marks, the scratches, the pock marks are all still here on this shoe, but that is because the layers were already there and damaged. For me to make this shoe look like uh, it was when I first did these, it would take many days, but for the process of this video, I have shortened it down, so it is not perfect, but you get the idea of what it is you need to do, and an idea of the effect that you get. As you can see, the toe is incredibly, it's much more shinier than the rest of the shoe. I will continue to work on these shoes, actually, to get them back to the level that they once were which will unfortunately mean doing the rest of the shoe which will take some time as you can imagine but for now once you have your shoes at this level all you need to do is follow these steps again three to five layers cross then shine the whole shoe and then small bully you can also if need be just rub water on every now and then. A layer of water will help with the shine. And again, you press down very hard and small circles. And you should feel that the polish is smooth to feel and almost silent when you rub it. Okay, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.